fireworks. That's right, we're going to be doing a fireworks animation in PowerPoint like usual. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so this is the final animation that we're aiming for by the end of this video. Let me just play it to you, and this is what it's going to look like in an actual PowerPoint slide. So let's just go right ahead and open up a new PowerPoint slide in PowerPoint. And all we're going to do is just change the layout here to blank, and let's also close the design ideas. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the main fireworks um, first, and it's just going to be one of them, and then we can work on that sort of line that shoots up. It's like the, the firework trail, I guess. So all we're going to do is just go into these shapes in the home here, and we're going to choose 32. So this is quite a lot. And you might be wondering, how is this anything like a, like a, um, like a firework? It even says it's a star. And here's a cool trick that you can do. You just pull this orange dot all the way down, and you can see we've got a whole line of fireworks. Right now, it's just a line full of loads of radiuses or diameters, I guess. I don't know how to say it, but whatever. Here we go. We've got our 32-point star. Let's just size it down by holding control. Um, shift and then sizing it down so that it goes right in at the same level and we're just going to make an, uh, a light orange so we're going to go not shape fill um, you can make the shape fill no fill we're going to be doing shape outline as this orange right here what we can also do is just go into um, we can just go into design and then go format background and then click on our shape so we've got like a format shape tab on the side up here so now what we can do is go into line and we can actually crank up the line diameter to maybe two or something like that. Depend depends on how you're feeling really. You can just play around with it and find something you like. I think um, we should go with just like two-ish because um, that, that'll make it a lot better. Um, we can always crank it up to three later. So there we go. Uh, we've got our first one and we're going to add an animation to this one. It won't be too complicated complicated um, but it will get a lot more complex when you start adding loads more but we'll take it a step at a time so we'll be able to finish this fireworks animation so all we're going to add first is we're going to add a basic zoom so we're going to go into more uh, animation more entrance effects and all we're going to do is just do basic zoom under moderate so um, the difference between this and a normal zoom is that the zoom sort of fades in as it zooms as well which isn't what we want. We want a basic zoom. What we're going to do next is add a, a size animation. It's in the emphasis effects. And now this is important. Make sure you do not go into this more, uh, uh, the, 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 this like selection of animations, because otherwise it will override your previous animation. What you need to do is click on this add animation button um, over here and go size, grow shrink under em emphasis. And we can change it under, so we can go into animation pane, just click right here, double click on the animation, and we're just going to make it 130 instead. Okay, and while we're in this extra animation options, we're just going to make the smooth end full. So we're just going to pull it all the way there. Go OK. And we're also going to just make this 0.5 duration. Now we can also click on that and go with previous and make a delay of 0.5 but you don't really need to worry about that now you can just leave the delay for now now the final animation we're going to add to this um, there's going to be three for every one of these spikes which might be a bit overkill but it'll make your um, fireworks look exactly like the first one which we're going to add an animation once again click in here otherwise it'll override it go more exit effects and we're going to do dissolve um, and that's just in basic it's the fourth one down dissolve out and you can just go with the previous. Uh, while we're here, we can also just always just change the background to black if you want, but I'm not going to be doing that now. So right now, this animation will not play. It, well, well, it will, but it just won't look proper because they're all happening at the same time. You can see, look, it, it does some weird stuff. But what we're going to do is we're just going to hold shift and select the bottom two, put the delay up to 0.5, click on the last one, crank the delay up to 0.1, uh, to 1, sorry. And while we're at it, we can also change the duration to 0.25. There we go. We've got our first um, fireworks. There we go. That looks quite nice. Now we can also um, go and do that line that comes up from the bottom. Let's do that. So what we're going to do is just draw a line from the middle down. 
And while we're at it, we just go line center, line middle, just to check that we're in the center. Now pull this all the way down, and we're just going to go into format shape, go to solid line, and we can just, um, sorry, gradient line, and we can just choose different gradients, just delete those, make it maybe like red, and then orange maybe. We'll have a few, and we can also crank the, the um, width up to like even even like a four maybe and this is important um well you don't have to do it it just makes it look a lot better we're just going to go into these dash types and we're going to just choose this one right here um dash dot or you can choose some of the other ones but i think dash dot looks the best so there we go we've got a sort of dash dot thing now um keep it in the center and we're just going to zoom in and hold control shift and then drag it out now we need to crank the width down or up um, so that it sort of overlaps and we can change the colors you can just choose whatever like green and then green and blue maybe and then hold control shift again copy it over crank the width down again make the dash type this time just a normal dash and change the colors to black and then yellow And just keep doing this until you get a sort of um, overlap that you like. So I'm just going to add red, add green, um, over that again. And so you can see that we're starting to get a, a line. And obviously you need to change the width, otherwise it won't overlap properly. That You'll just have loads that are the same. And you can even have a full block line. So there you go. Uh, let's just um, move some of the things back so that we've got a lighter one at the front, like that. So there's a line that might look not look very good, but once we add the animation, it'll look really good. Now you just want to do a box select of the whole thing and then go Control G, and we can go Shape Format, Align, Align, Center. Okay, now we're going to add the animation. All it's going to be is a wipe animation. Go to Animations and then choose Wipe. I'm just going to go up. And then go add animation and go wipe in the exit animations. Go to animation pane and just pull those holding shift. Um, so just hold shift to select both of them and then pull them to the top. Okay, there we go. We've got that and we can just send that to back. Okay, so we're, we're almost there. Now we've got three more things to add. That's just the ovals um, that are just like gradients that just add that glow to the animation. Um, so all we're going to do is just add in a circle, hold control shift and size it up. Um, and we're going to go align center, align middle. So what we're going to do next is just go into the shape format tab and we're going to go to gradient fill right here. And we're going to just choose a sort of red to, to um, gold gradient. And you just choose the colors that you like and then we can make the no line as our line. And then finally add a, a glow, uh, sorry, not glow, a soft edge of 80. So just go into the shape options in format shape, go soft edges and just crank this up to an 80. So you can see we've sort of got a, a nice um, glow around here. Now it doesn't look so good uh, over white, but um, it will look a lot better, trust me. So there we go, we've got our glow and Actually, while we're at it, just click off everything and then go into this format background and make it black. There we go, lovely. Now send this shape all the way to the back. So now it's like a glow behind everything. Um, and we're also going to just add another glow, um, but we can do that later on. Now we're going to add the animation to this oval. And we're just going to go into animations and then choose a zoom animation um, here. And then add animation and then choose a dissolve out so make, make sure you're going add animation more exit effects dissolve out there we go um, finally we're just going to uh, add a sort of texture underneath all of that so let us find our texture what we're going to do is just copy the shape uh, move it back in the middle go shape format align center align middle okay we're going to go into format shape and this time we're going to choose pattern fill. We're going to choose 
the background to be black and then the foreground to be red um, well really any color I'm gonna choose yellow actually and we're going to keep our soft edge on we're going to send that to back and we've got sort of a dotted feature so it's like the part of the firework coming out from it okay um, we're not going to worry about the animations yet um, but we will eventually um, and finally we are just going to keep copying this shape so we're just going to control shift and pull it out and go control y y y um, actually you know what let's just work on it one at a time so we've got that and what we're going to do is go shape format and then change the outline color to something like um, I don't know like yellow for example okay we can pull that back in and right now we've just got yellow across this does not look very good so we're going to basically rotate it and change the amount and there's this cool thing where you can just change the shape by going in shape format edit shape change shape and then just choose one of these other ones and we're going to go back into stars and banners and this time choose 24 uh, and actually we're gonna you can just play around with it I'm gonna actually choose 16 and we're gonna pull this orange circle down again rotate it a bit and control shift and make it a bit bigger so there we go we've got a very uh, boring fireworks right now and now we're going to just control shift and then go align center align middle and then rotate once again control shift make it a bit smaller edit shape, change shape, and we're going to choose 12 this time. Pull the orange back back in. Um, and you can even squish it down so that it's not perfect. Hold control and just squish it down. So you can see it's like a sort of elongated now. And we're going to make that white. Okay, next one, just copy that shape over, go align center, align middle. And we're just going to make the color this time red. And we're going to edit the shape, change shape, and make it back to 16. And then this time, hold Control Shift, and then just size up a lot. Okay, so there we are. Um, let, let's copy this again. Oh, I just copied the wrong shape. There we go. Let's delete that. And you just want to keep doing this until you're happy. I'm just going to keep making uh, maybe three more of these and we're just gonna edit shape change shape make it 12 and we're actually gonna make this as a green and then copy that over align center align middle and if you really don't like me just talking in your ear right now you can always pause the video and then skip ahead but that would you can always just put some music on while you're listening to me doing this because you might want to follow my tutorial exactly so that's sometimes what I want to do anyway let's make this blue we can size that back in a bit actually and nice copy that out align center align middle change shape let's make it 24 actually no you know what let's make it 10 and we're gonna make this one purple Okay, so I think I'm pretty much done with the amount of fireworks I'm going to do. Um, now I'm just going to go into Arrange and go Selection Pane. And I'm just going to select this oval, which is at the, the second to last, basically. Um, and we're going to Control shift and take that out. And all we're going to do is just click on another oval. Um, and we're just going to go into the Format Shape tab. And... We're going to make this a different gradient, basically, because we want a different gradient when we've got different colours of fireworks. So we've got the red and the orange and the yellow, first of all, and then we've got like a purple, green and blue-ish sort of thing. Um, and if we go into our gradient fill, um, let's just go solid fill, and we're just going to go into gradient fill again. And you just want to choose like a purple and then a light green-ish colour. And you're just going to go shape format, align center, align middle once again. And then size this completely up so that it covers most of the most of the shape basically and send that to back okay so if we play the animation right now as you can guess it does not do anything much it does some weird stuff like like 
I don't know. People might be happy with that. I do not like this at all. It looks kind of odd. Um, but we'll fix that. We're just going to stop this and then go click on any animation. Go Control A. Go into animations and then go with previous up here. We're going to now start adding our make it into um, basically we're going to distribute our animation so that they're in order properly so let's go back into our animation pane and what we're going to start off with is this group here we can just click on it here and we've got it at, right at the start actually we're just going to add a delay of um, and this is where you really want to be paying close attention it doesn't need to be exact it just needs to be quite close to to what i'm doing we're going to make the delay one um, second um, now we're going to go into our oval, which is just this, basically this orangey oval. Um, and we're just going to pull this up to there and its other animation up to there. Now we're going to size that duration up to 1.25. And we're going to make the delay of 0.25. And we're going to crank this delay up to 0.175, oh sorry, 1.75 even. And we're going to make the duration one. Now we're just gonna now do our star animations. So now for each of these you just wanna make sure look because we copied them we copied over the animations which makes it a lot easier. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna make the first and since we did it in order as well so for example this star 32.5 is is the, the first one that we ever made and we want to do it in this sort of order and we're gonna have a delay of point we're going to basically stagger it by 0.25 seconds, so each each flash will come 0.25 seconds after each other. So we're going to start off the first one by making it, I don't know, um, maybe point, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Um, let's make it 0.5, and this delay should come right after at 1, and this should come at 1.5. Now we've also got this oval just randomly here. And we're going to also um, fix that because this oval is a bit different um, to the previous oval. Um, I just need to make sure that I'm clicking on the right oval. Yes, so this oval 15 is a bit different. It's basically going to size up. Um, and I've actually... We're going to work that out now. And we're also, um, while we're at it, we're just going to change this oval um, in the format shape. And we're going to make the background actually white. There we go, that looks, look, looks a lot better. Okay, go back into the animation pane and we're going to, um, wait. Okay, back in the animation pane. Now we're back in the animation pane. We're going to add an animation to this oval um, and we're going to add a grow and shrink to it. So we're gonna go add animation, grow shrink. So you can see it's like growing. That's basically what it's doing. Nothing really special about it. Anyway, make it 130 in the additional an animation effects options. And we're going to completely um, move this back in between, sandwich it between, go with previous. And we're going to just crank the duration all the way down to like a 0.25 and make this one a 0.25 as well. Now, the, the delay I'm going to add to this is going to be um, a 1. Delay for this one is going to be 1.25. This one's going to be 1.5. Okay, um, we've got our next oval, which we can bring right from the bottom. Pull this right up, and we're just going to basically make this similar to the first one over here, and we're just going to make it a duration of 1.25, like the first one. But this time we're going to have a delay of 1 instead, and we're going to crank this up to like 3 maybe. Uh, you know what, let's make it 2, 2.5. Okay, now we're moving on to our next stars, um, which are basically these, the fireworks, basically. And we're just going to change it, um, so we're just going to stagger it. This one's going to be uh, 0.25 more than this one. Everything will be 0.25 more than each of these ones. So this one would be, instead of being a 0.5 delay, it's going to be a 0.75 delay, and this is just going to be a... 1.25 this is going to be a 1.75 so you can just keep doing that we can also just crank all of them up just so that it's a lot easier and then we just let go of one of them put them all up like this and then push them back down put them back up you can sort of use your eye really i'm not really worrying about the 
animation they should just you should be able to see like a diagonal going this way and if you do want to check you can always check that they're 0 0.25 difference and that should be between each of the corresponding animations and powerpoint makes it quite easy that exit animations have different colors and stuff so you can see each of those each of these red ones should be 0 0.25 um, after it should be staggered like that the yellow one should be staggered similarly Okay, let's just crank this back up. And of course, between each of the animations, it should be the same delay. It should be just 0.5 of a delay between each of them. Ooh. There we go. So here is our final animation. Um, if you followed me through there, uh, well done. You, I probably wasn't making some of the things clear, so um, you can always just go back, rewatch it, etc., etc. Um, and if obviously, if you're having a question, just comment below and here is our final animation it looks amazing it's like a proper new year's eve celebration for this and it's probably not going to be new year's eve when i release this video it'll probably be like somewhat like third <laughs> i'm gonna probably release it after new year's but anyway i hope you have a happy new year and if you're watching this not in the new year but you just like fireworks make sure to leave a like on this video and click on this video if you want some more themed um, animations for Christmas. Before you go into that video, make sure to subscribe.